Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have an exciting showdown between Cursor Windsurf IDE and a new player in the game, Alibaba's Agentic IDE Coder. Coder just launched in preview mode and the best part, it's completely free to try out right now. So in this video, we'll explore what makes Coder unique, walk through its features and even build an app with it to see how it performs in real action. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in and put Coder to the test. So this is the official website of Coder. So you can download the application right here. So currently it is available for Windows and Mac. As of now, Coder is in preview and everyone can access this during this preview period. And you have this pro subscription free to use right now. So let's talk about what Coder is all about and how it is different from Cursor and other IDEs. So let's talk about the features that Coder offers. So in Coder, it just chooses the best model at that point of time. So you don't have to manually choose a model. Instead, Coder will take care of choosing what model that it should use for that particular task. It has an enhanced context engineering features. So it supports images, code, directories, and more. It has a feature called wiki repo where it creates project documentation in the background. And the best part is Coder can run multiple activities in parallel in the background. And it also has memory and rules. And it also supports this inline chat so you can just point out a chat and you can just add instructions on top of that. Then it supports pretty much all MCP ecosystems that we have. And Coder also supports something called spec driven development that we have seen in Kiro and uh, Trey Solo, where it plans about what you want to do and it creates a working flow and it work on that flow. There will be a lot of to do's and where it keeps on completing th those to do's. Now let's go to the coder. The application is right here. Now let's try to create something in this before that. So this is pretty much same as any other IDs that we have, whether cursor or tray or Kiro, where it is built on top of this visual studio code. Now you have the chat option right here. So you can add context. You can add file folder image. Now we have two modes. One is agent mode where it would take the prompt and create plans and uh, create the app autonomously. And the other one is ask where you can chat, interact with, ask questions and things like that, where you can decide what to do and you can ask suggestions, things that you can do with this ask. We have a feature called quest mode where we can create multiple tasks and run asynchronously in the background. It is capable of doing large tasks like creating full feature of the app. So you can uh, designate multiple tasks to create multiple features and it would work asynchronously in the background to finish all those tasks. In order to use quest mode, you have to initialize a get repo for the project. This is the repo wiki where it creates a project documentation of all the updated tasks and technical details of everything that we are doing. So that will be helpful in the future. So now let's create something. So let me ask and chat with it. Then we'll go to this agent mode. So I'll be trying to create a portfolio for myself and I'll ask what are the other details that Coder required to finish this complete project. So here is my ask. I wanted to create a portfolio for myself. I'm a software engineer and YouTuber. What are the other details that you require? So we have the response right here. Great. I would help you create your website. I can see your background that you are Castro K. Joseph, content creator, software engineer with experience in Java, Spring Boot, Node.js. So this is what I was telling about. This has memory feature where it stores certain things in the memory. So this is something that I've tried to create earlier. So it recognizes those details that I gave at that point of time. Now, all you need to give is the technical preference of what framework you choose, your styling approach, where you're trying to host your application. All right, let's add those. All right, so here is my details that I've added on top of these things. So use Vite, React, Tailwind, CSS. I'm open to opportunities and freelancing. I have a certification, 
blockchain certification from Coursera. Use modern and minimalistic dark and light theme. Use solid color combo with gradient dark theme. Create the full app. And now I'll move to this agent mode. Now let's start working. Coder has created a to do list right here to create the whole application. Now you have to help this with these terminal commands. Yes. Right. Now it is in autonomous mode where it will take care of everything and it is running commands in the terminal and let's wait for the project to get complete. All right, now we have the portfolio ready. So it seems like they are done. So let's see. So I can see 12 problems. Oh, I think they are TypeScript warnings, whatever. Let's so we have some errors right here. So I just told that there are errors in the terminal. So let's see if Coder is able to pick this up and fix it for us. So let's see. All right, now we have my portfolio page right here loading with the CSS. All right, so here is a section for my YouTube channel and the other one is all about my development history and and my experience as a software engineer right here and the text stacks that I used. Cool. So we have a contact card right here. All right. Great. So that's great. Now let's try to use this wiki repo right here and let's. All right. Now the repository is being analyzed by repo wiki. Let's see how this works right here. So it is taking some time. So in the meantime, let's try to use this quest. So let's try to create a new task. Okay, we have two options, write spec first and execute directly. If you want, we can add the context as well. So write spec first. Let's add a section for blogs in this portfolio. So I'll be using this quest mode to create that. So create Create a section for blogs in the portfolio, add the below details right here. Now I can send, so let it create the spec first. All right, now we have the Git issue got sorted. Now the design phase is done. Now just click on start now. Now let me create one more quest. Change the color to black, red, and blue combination. So I'll ask to execute directly. All right. Now we can see there are two quests, two tasks running parallelly. One is this blog section where it is creating the blog or section for my portfolio. So initially the design phase is done and now it is in the action plan and it is creating files and making edits for this. So you have a pause button to post the task right here. And the other one is to change the color of the total theme. So that is also running parallelly right here. So this is how this quest mode works, where both of the tasks are working parallelly asynchronously in the background. In the color change quest mode, we have everything done and we have the task report right here. Now we are done with both the tasks right here, block section and color change scheme. Now let's create a chess game with Coder. So now let's create a multiplayer chess game in Python with modern and minimalistic UI. All right, now let's wait for it to complete. Currently I'm using this agent mode where it would be creating the whole application in a go. So let's wait for that. All right, so we have the Python game ready. So let's try to run the game right here. All right, now we have the game right here. Create local game. Okay. 
so we have the game working but the pieces all the pieces has same design and so we won't be able to distinguish which one is which so we would really need to work on that as well so for the initial impression the game is working right now this is the horse so let's add this right here then let me cut this one yeah the icons of the pieces are similar so we need to change that so the icons of pieces are just a rectangle need to have proper icons for the characters all right now the icon issue is fixed now we have different icons for different pieces so it did a better job now let's see if it is working well the game is working correctly that's cool well that's it for this quick video on quarter where we created a portfolio website using react and we also added two quest mode tasks to that portfolio project and it simultaneously completed those two tasks we also created a python game in quarter and pretty much everything that they promised are working correctly and they are fast and what do you think about quarter will it replace windsurf and cursor so let me know that in the comment section till then this is castrogejo signing off bye